Hey everyone, this is Yami, your Latina Next Door. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited because today is the first day we get to share our Look For Less Challenge projects for 2020. If you are not familiar with the Look For Less, it is a challenge that I host every month with a different co-host. This month's co-host is Natalie with Design to the Nines. If you have not checked her out, make sure you do so after you see this video. Her channel information is in my description box below. Now in this challenge, we ask you to recreate a high-end piece of home decor for a whole lot less. If you are a YouTuber that participated this month, make sure you add your link for your video to the playlist below. Now, if you are not a YouTuber but still did a project, you can always share them on Instagram. You can tag me and Natalie so we can check them out as well. Now this month, I decided to ease into the look for less since we are just coming back and I wanted to do something of a little bit smaller scale. That way, you guys can tackle it whether or not you are returning to the look for less or this is your first time seeing one of these challenges anybody can recreate these items. Now I happen to use some Dollar Tree items for mine because that's what I had on hand, but there are definitely other options that you can use in order to recreate this look. Now before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a thing. All right, let's get started. So over the holidays, I happened to be looking at the Ballard Designs website, which I love to go to and check out their home decor. They have beautiful home decor pieces. However, they are a little pricey. As you can see, these vintage style bells are $49, but on sale for $36.75, which I think was still a little pricey. So I decided to take these on and recreate these myself. So I had these bells from a Dollar Tree over the Christmas holiday and I hadn't used them for anything yet. Ignore the white one, that one I did not use. So first things first, I'm going to remove the greenery from the bells. I wanted to make them a little different. So for this one, I took my wood burning kit along with the cutting tool and I took off the top little knob. And then I had these wood finials available from other projects and I hot glued them on to create a handle. Then in order to create a metal finish, I use my brush metal paint in the color dark gray. I use a chip brush to apply my paint because I wanted a textured look and I gave everything, including the little wooden finials, one coat. After it was dry, it was time to put on the second coat. And again, I continued the horizontal strokes. I gave it three full coats, not because it needed that much for coverage, but because I wanted that much texture. Then I took the brush metal paint in brushed bronze. And I dipped my chip brush into the paint. However, I wanted to dry brush it on, so I stippled as much paint off as I could. And this time I went with vertical strokes. Once I did a small section of strokes, I would go in and kind of rub it in with a dry paper towel and rub off any excess. I continued all the way around until I got the desired look. And that pretty much completed that one. So for the next one. The next one I wanted it to look a little bit different so I decided to take one of these little book rings that you can find at Dollar Tree and glue it to the top portion. I held on to it at first like this and then I added more glue from the inside and underneath. Once it was properly adhered I took a small little wooden ball and I added it to the top little section right there so we can close that hole off. Then I took a dry erase marker and I just simply drew a line all the way around the entire bell. I did this to the top section and the bottom section as well. Then 
then I took my wood burning kit again and this time I used the line making tool and I followed the lines all the way around the bell. This created two recessed lines all the way around the bell. So for the paint on this one, I started with my acrylic paint in the color Peppercorn. And I gave it one coat all the way around doing more horizontal strokes. Next, I used some of the brushed metal paint in dark gray. This time I did vertical strokes on the bell. I took some treasure gold paint also by plaid and I took a small little pencil brush and I started painting those two lines that I had burned earlier. I took some more of that treasure gold and this time I did dry brushing horizontally all over the bell. I also used a dry paper towel to kind of rub the gold in and remove any excess gold. It was still looking a little bit too new and shiny for me, so I took some of the antique wax, which you guys know I absolutely love this product. I added a little bit of water, watered it down, and I kind of just gave it a little wash all over the bell and then wiped off the excess moisture because it was pretty runny. And this gave me the look I was going for. And here are both of the finished faux vintage bells. I was really happy with the way the colors came out, as well as the texture that the paint gave each one of the bells made it actually look like it was metal and not plastic. And the best thing about this is that you can use anything that you have on hand for the handles to give it your own unique style. And you don't have to use these Dollar Tree bells from Christmas. You can also check out your local thrift stores because I see little hand bells all the time. So the original pricing for the large bells were $49, and since mine were on the larger scale, I went ahead and compared it to that. And of course, mine only costs $1 per bell at the Dollar Tree. Everything else I already had on hand. $48 savings for each of my bells. I think that's pretty good. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed those faux vintage bells. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know which version you like the best in the comments below. All products that I use are gonna be in the description below as well. Don't forget to check out Natalie, my co-host for this month, and her channel to see what she recreated, as well as everybody else who participated this month. There's gonna be a whole lot of inspiration that you guys will be able to check out as well. These faux vintage bells are really on trend right now, and they can be pretty pricey. But of course, with a little bit of imagination, some paint, and a little bit of patience, you can definitely recreate your own. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this look for less and be on the lookout for the next invitation in February. I have another amazing co-host and I can't wait to share who she is. All right guys, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, adios.